Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about a very, very famous abstract algebra book. This is a book that goes way back and it's written by a fantastic author. Uh, it is Topics in Algebra by Herstein. This is an incredible book. Let's take a look inside it. This is the inside cover. So we have Topics in Algebra by Israel Nathan Herstein. I believe that's what the IN is for. University of Chicago. So that's a really good school. So Herstein was a professor there at some point in his career. Coincidentally, Herstein went to the same school I did uh, when he was studying mathematics. So I always think it's kind of cool that Herstein and I, you know, maybe we sat in the same classroom, kind of ridiculous, but still pretty cool. So you can see this is uh, 1964. Wow, a long time ago. So this must be the second printing. So a super old book, 1964 was a long time ago, but Herstein's words still live on in this fantastic text. Here is the preface. The idea to write this book, and more importantly, the desire to do so, is a direct outgrowth of a course I gave in the academic year 1959 to 1960 at Cornell University. So he taught so long ago. I mean, we're in 2020. So that's 60 years ago. So 60 years ago, Hurstein taught at Cornell University, and that inspired him to write his book. That's the case for most books. You know, if you're a teacher, you have notes, and then sometimes you have the desire to turn your notes into a textbook. So Hurstein did just that with this fantastic textbook. So this is the table of contents. It starts off with preliminary notions. So set theory, mappings, and the integers. Then he jumps into group theory right away. So definition of a group, some examples, some preliminary lemmas, subgroups, accounting principle, goes right into normal subgroups and quotient groups pretty quickly, right? Right, page 41. So he's jumping into it fairly quickly. Automorphisms, Cayley's theorem, etc. Celo's theorem is already introduced on page 78. So he moves very, very quickly. And look at this, already page 83, Herstein starts with rings. So it moves very, very quickly compared to a lot of the beginner abstract algebra books you see today. I wish you could smell the book with me. It smells so good. Uh, this is a really old copy, as you can see, 1964. He talks about vector spaces and modules, which is quite nice. Not all abstract algebra books uh, talk about that. Goes on to fields and then linear transformations and then some selected topics. So some specific, specific things. The readability of this book is quite good. Uh, it reads like most other abstract algebra books, but it's a little bit different. Um, when you read the book, the explanations are different and that's because it's just written by you know a different person. So Herstein was a very, very, very good teacher. And so I think that translates to his writing style and his writing and his presentation in the book. Uh, supposedly, he was like uh, a rock star teacher and just really, really loved uh, by everyone. So he was a brilliant mathematician and a good teacher, which is a rare combination. The exercises in this book are pretty standard. Uh, they're very typical to what you would see in other abstract algebra books. I really don't think uh, they stick out in any way from the other abstract algebra books that I have. Um, they're good exercises though. I've done videos uh, for a lot of these problems from this book and from other books, and it's a good source of practice problems if you're looking for more problems. The later sections do contain a lot more linear algebra. He talks about dual spaces and modules. You can't really tell from this video, but the copy I have, you know, the first pages, like the first hundred pages or so, are quite yellow and they're more worn. I don't know if you can see how, how worn they are. But then when I go to like the end of the book, oh, there's some stamps in here, ooh, that's exciting. If you go to the end of the book, uh, you can't really tell from the camera, but the book is newer. So whoever owned this book before me spent more time with the first 100 pages uh, instead of you know looking at the latter portions of the book, which makes sense. In a regular course, you might only cover you know, part of this book. You could probably teach two courses out of this book. Kind of random, but those are the stamps that have been discovered uh, inside this book. Uh, kind of interesting. I, I don't know much about stamps, but whoever owned this book before me apparently collected stamps. 
So that's it. The book is Topics in Algebra, and it's written by Hurstein. This is a very, very famous old school book, and if you're looking to learn abstract algebra, it's certainly worth getting a copy, especially because it's only a few dollars. You can get these books so inexpensively nowadays. That's it.